The first question for illustrating the multiplication rule is the following. How many integers can be represented on a 16-bit machine? This is a question that's of interest to computer scientists. So one thing I like to do when I start working these problems is to write down a sample 16-bit number. Now if these are bits, then each digit can be either a 0 or a 1. So here might be one such 16-bit uh, integer. When you move to solving this problem by the multiplication rule, I also like to put these placeholders and number them. Here are where the 16 digits appear. And the first bit can be either a 0 or a 1, so there's two ways for us to decide whether to put a 0 or a 1 in this position. For this next digit, there are two ways there and two ways for this bit, two ways for that bit, two ways for the last one. Finally, the multiplication rule says that these 16 twos should be multiplied together, so the answer to the problem is 2 raised to the 16th power, and that works out to 65,536 different integers that can be represented on a 16-bit machine when the sign bit is ignored. The smallest of all of these integers is going to have all zeros in these digits, so that is a zero. The largest will have ones in all 16 of the digits, and that will be 2 to the 16th minus 1. This problem generalizes nicely to other um, similar settings. For example, if you have a 16 question true false test, this 2 to the 16th power is the number of ways that that true false test can be answered. Likewise, if you have a coin which you are going to flip 16 times, there are 2 to the 16th different possible sequences of heads and tails.